Hi guys and welcome to module 3 in the 12 module AutoCAD course. Okay, in this module we are going to be discussing layers. Okay, now a lot of people have trouble with layers and they can be a little bit complex in the theory but the application is pretty straightforward. Basically a layer is like drawing on a transparent sheet. Okay, you have your base drawing on the bottom and if you draw say your doors on one transparent sheet, you draw your windows on another transparent sheet and then you put all those transparent sheets on top of your original, you'll have the full drawing. If you take one sheet away, you'll be missing that part of the drawing, etc. So you can see the different ways that, that the drawing comes together. And basically, that's all that layers are. Okay, so in every layer, there are three different characteristics. These are the line color, which is this one, the line type, which can be dashed, continuous, etc., and the line weight, which is just how thick your line is. And basically, these, by choosing to draw by layer, it changes your color, um, line type, and line weight according to what layer you're in. So if you create a layer for doors, and let's just say your doors are red, and the line weight is a different line weight, it will draw all your doors in that line weight as long as you have the doors layer selected. And then if you want to go to draw your walls in a different one, different line weight, different color, there's no need to change each of these individually, you just change to the doors layer, and there you go, you have your, do your different door settings. So it makes it a lot easier to draw and saves us a lot of time. Okay, so let's get started in creating and using our layers. So to get started with our layers, we find this toolbar, I'll just drag it on screen because my screen won't show it due to the screen recording, but I'll just drag it on here you should have a toolbar that looks something like this. And basically, to start with our layers, we click this N one here, which is Layer Properties Manager. So we click that. Okay, and I'll just resize this down so it fits into my screen. There we go. So this is the Layer Properties Manager. Basically from this, you can create your different layers and manage them, change them, etc. Okay, um, another way to get into this window is if in your command line you just type layer and hit enter and it will come up that way as well if you like to use command line. Okay, now to create a new layer, we go just up here to create new layer there we go, or you can hit Alt N as it says there. So we create a new layer and we'll name this layer mm, wall. Why not? This can be our wall layer. So you hit enter and there now you can change your color. So you might make this one you know, orange. You can also use true color and color books um, to choose your color, which depending on what use you've got, um, yeah, but, we're, but just for simplicity, we're going to use the index color, but your true color, you have your um, your RGB, red, green, blue, yep, okay, but we'll just use the index, okay, we'll go, okay, so that's going to be our color, we're going to use a line type of, we will load a line, oh, yeah, we'll, we'll, load, a, we'll load one and we'll use dashed, Okay, you can use, you've got all your different line types here, so you've got your dotted lines, you've got batting, um, you've got borders, you know, your dashed lines, your fences, gas lines, um, hot water supply, etc, etc. So you can use all these, or you can create your own line types, which we will be doing later. But for now, we will just use the dashed line, the first dashed line, okay. So we'll choose the dashed line, hit OK. So now, um, it's, there we go, there's our line type, here's the dashed line, and now our line weight, we'll make it pretty thick. 
We'll make it a four year old line. And then we hit OK. Okay, so we have our color line type and line weight chosen. Now, extend these on. Okay. Uh, these last couple of options aren't extremely important. Um, basically, this one here is whether you want the layer to plot or not. So you can choose it to not plot or to plot. And this one here is actually called New VP Frozen. Like, there you go, new VP freeze. And basically, this just freezes the layer so that you cannot um, move or edit it in all layouts and viewports, which is basically not practical in most situations. And so, we usually just leave that as is. All right. Now, basically, the layers can be filtered using this, this uh, layer properties manager we can go up here and we can select filters to be used on our layers but we're not going to filter as yet I'm just going to show you how to use the layer and basically we just choose this tick if we want to set that as the current layer we're using so we will tick that and then this one goes off this one becomes our current layer we can also delete the layer and there's like the new layer VP frozen in all viewports, which we don't want to do. And yeah, as we've used the new layer. So basically, there's our new layer selected. So we will hit apply and OK. And now you will see that it has our color for this is our layer, which is the wall layer. It has the wall color, the wall. Um, line type and the wall line weight.